One solution is negatively charged and clearly represents the electron. But just what does the positive solution correspond to? At first, Dirac wondered if it could be the proton, the positively charged particle within the nucleus. But being almost 2,000 times more massive, that could not be correct. He eventually concluded his equation was predicting a brand new particle, the anti-electron. This particle should have the same mass as the electron, but have the opposite, positive charge. Antimatter The Dirac equation was the birth of quantum field theory, the most successful physical theory. It is with these mathematics that scientists can describe nearly all of the fundamental particles and forces, the basis of the modern standard model. And for each of these particles, there are antiparticles, electrons, positrons, quarks, and antiquarks. All a consequence of Einstein's view of relative space and relative time. <laughs>